Okay, so I've got the wiring harness plugged into the ECM. And I've got a battery hooked up. I've got a fuel supply and a return. And like I said, I have plugged up the wires into the ECM. I'm going to try to get this phone guy in here so you can see how it's plugged in there. The connectors go. I think you can see those connectors right there. Okay, you got a top connector, a middle connector, and a bottom connector. The middle connector doesn't need to have anything on it. On the middle connector, they have a, a plug, a blank plug that goes in there that they give you. Uh, I think that's for a data link or whatever, but we're not going to use that. So the top one is has five pins on it. That's it right there. A, B, C, D, and E. And this is what we're doing with them. There's a red on A and a red on C. And then B, D, and E are black. B, D, and E go to ground on the battery. Red, A, and C get power from the battery. And that's exactly what I did. I ran them. There's the wires. Ran them. I fused them through a fuse. I got a fuse there. And I ran them to the battery. I don't have it connected right now. But I will momentarily. And then on this connector, the bottom connector. Okay, on the bottom connector, we want to do, uh, what is it? B3. B3. Is the ignition wire. B3 runs right to the same red. B3 goes through that fuse. So I got three wires. So you can see, actually, the, the wires from the connector go two into one the one that mocks in it and then the other one the other little red one is b3 so you've got an ignition b3 which would go for your key key ignition and then the other the other ones are just that top connector and you could start any detroit engine whether it's on the ground in the truck whatever as long as it's got a fuel supply and 